Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is your girl H1 here again. So as you can see from the title, today we're going to talk about the hard wax and the soft wax. Which one is better? Which one is ideal for you? There are so many differences between a hard wax and a soft wax, okay? I must confess, for so many years now, I've been using the soft wax. So I did discover the hard wax, okay? Now, let's talk, let's just compare the two of them and which one is better. Let's talk about pain. The pain level. On a scale of 0 to 10. 10 being very painful and 0 being not painful at all. I'm gonna give the soft wax a 9. Okay, cause it is very painful. I mean, it's not so, so painful, especially if you've used it for so long. But for those of you who have never used it before, the soft wax is more painful as compared to the hard wax. Now I'm gonna give the hard wax a four, just because the hard wax does not stick to the skin. It just sticks to the hair. And when you peel it off, it just takes out the hair. It doesn't pull the skin. So, it reduces the pain. That is why whenever you use a hard wax, it is not as painful as compared to the soft wax. The soft wax is very painful as compared to the hard wax, especially if you're using it on your bikini area. If you want to get a Brazilian wax, the hard wax is the better option. Let's talk about easiness, okay? When you're using it, I will say the hard wax is easier to use as compared to the soft wax. The soft wax can get a little messy, especially if you're new to it. You know, if you have to put the wax on your skin, put on the strip and strip it off. Sometimes, you know, you spill the wax because it's so soft and, you know, it's on the liquid side, okay? So it's very easy to just peel it. And with the hard wax, you just put it on your skin, wait for a little bit for it to dry, and you just peel it off and everything comes off. And after you've peeled it off, it is hard. It doesn't stick to any. So even when you are putting it aside, when you're disposing it off, it doesn't stick anywhere. So it doesn't get messy, okay? So it's easier to use a hard wax as compared to the soft wax. Do you ever wonder why when you go to get a wax at the waxing salon, do you wonder why they usually use the soft wax? This is because it is cheaper. Yes. So if you're running a business, you would want to save some money. You would want to cut some cost. So you end up using the cheaper one. Now, I did buy a soft wax for about 2 euros. And that was about 200 ml. Now, I got the same amount of wax. That is the hard version, the hard wax, which was about 200 grams. I did get it for about 10 euros. So, I mean, go figure. It's, it's, it's expensive as compared to the, you know, soft wax. That is about five times. So if you're running a business, you are going to want to save some money. So you are going to go for the cheaper version. That is why usually when you go to the beauty places to get rid of your hair, they use the soft wax. Now, I must confess, if I had seen or if I had been introduced to the hard wax earlier, I would not have used the soft wax in the first place. Because when I started using the hard wax, I did ask myself, why did I even use the soft wax in the first place? Because the hard wax is less painful and it is faster, especially for your, you know, bikini zone. I mean, you know how, you know, painful it is, especially if you have kinky hair, if you have the, you know, type 4 hair. It's so painful when you're taking our hair down there. It's so painful when you're using the soft wax. On the other hand, when you're using the hard wax, it's so, so easy. You just peel it off and the pain level is so, so low. And it's not really a pleasant experience. But if you have the money and if you don't want the pain, I would advise you going for the hard wax, especially for your intimate zones, your, you know, your bikini area, your face, you know, your chin, your upper lip and all that. It's so, so painless and it's so easy to do. The only downside about it is the fact that you would have to spend, you know, just a little bit more money as compared to the soft wax. Okay, guys, so let me know which one is your favorite. Have you ever tried the hard wax? Do you prefer the soft wax to the hard wax? Or do you prefer the hard wax just like me? I must say, I did get rid of all my soft wax because I don't want to use it anymore. As I discovered the hard wax, like, you know, is my favorite something and I don't think I would want to use the soft wax anymore. It just gives you, you know, nothing but extra pain. And I must confess, 
Whenever I use the hard wax, I do not get, you know, ingrown hairs. So it's another reason why I do love, love, love the hard wax. It doesn't give me all these things. This is partly because of, you know, the soft wax is gonna irritate your skin because it stays to the skin. And when you're pulling it off, you know, you pull some part of your skin, giving you a higher chance of getting ingrown hairs and giving you a higher chance of getting hyperpigmentation afterwards so that is it so that is another thumbs up for the hard wax and you know a thumbs down for the soft wax have you ever tried the hard wax if you've not i would encourage you to do that because it's so so cool and you would not want to stop using it so 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 if you've not subscribed to this beautiful channel what are you waiting for or just hit the subscribe button don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this with your family and friends until next time i'm gonna see you again with another nice and interesting one bye bye Bye.